Hello and welcome back to this third lesson, Introducing Basic Features in AutoCAD 2012. Like in previous version, we'll start from scratch, going to the application menu, making a new drawing based on the drawing template called ACAD. In this session, we will look at simple snap and modifying techniques. In this lesson, we will uh, not use the ribbons up here and the modifying bottoms, we will use the command line and the dynamic input. To start out, like in previous version, we'll just draw a few lines and we'll start modifying them. The first command we'll look at is move. Instead of using the button up here, we'll type in M in the command line. It asks us to select an object we want to move. I'll select this line. I'll right click and I'll move it to where I want it to be. I end the command by pressing escape. The next command will be copying. I could type it in down here in the command line, but since I have my dynamic input turned on, I could also just type in CO and enter. And once again, I notice in the command line, it says select in object and I'll select my object. It also does that in the dynamic input. I'll right click and I'll make copies of my line where I want them to be. And once again, I end by pressing escape. The next command will be rotate. I'll write in the shortcut RO, select the object, right click, and it asks me for a base point and I'll use this endpoint. And I can see that I can rotate it manually or I can type in an angle and let's say I would like to rotate it 90 degrees. That's how that could be done. The next command will be extend and I will try to extend, for instance, this line to the one I just rotated. So I'll type in the command EX and it asks me to select the object. Here's a little bit unclear, but it's the object I want to extend to. So I'll select this line and right click and then select the object I want to extend which in this case in this line. The next modifying command is trim. You see it up here. I'll type in TR and I would like to, for instance, trim this line uh, between these two um, lines. I'll first select the two lines I want to trim the line width right click and then select the line I want to trim. Once again, I end the command by pressing escape. The last modifying technique is mirroring. In this case, I could, for instance, try to mirror this line around my axis here. As an example, I'll type in MI. I'll select the object I want to mirror and then I will select a line defined by uh, two points that I want to mirror around, for instance, like this. And notice that in the command line, it asks if I want to erase the original line or I want to uh, keep it. In this case, I want to keep it, so I type in no. Okay. To the end, I will look at some of the function buttons. And as you can see here, you can also use the function buttons on your keyboard, um, or you can turn the buttons on and off from gray to blue uh, to make them active. I'll just start out looking at the snap function and look at its settings. And I can see that um, it's snapping to a grid um, that's made uh, for every half a unit corresponding to the grid that you see in the background. 
I'll just demonstrate that by making a small line and when you move the cursor around you notice that it'll snap to the grid. Uh, that is or the grid intersection that's closest to the um, the cursor. I'll turn off the snap function and I'll um, look at the grid. I We looked at the properties before but I'll just see what happens if I turn it on and off. You see that um, the grid disappears but uh, my coordinate system is still uh, visible so to say. Okay, the next button I'll demonstrate is the uh, auto button. We looked at that in, or used that in uh, lesson two as well. Um, as explained earlier, this allows us only to draw in perpendicular um, angles, meaning 0, 90, 180, and so on. And that's definitely a very helpful tool to use. I'll end with an um, escape. I'll now turn off my object snap, uh, sorry, my auto snap, and um, explain the polar snap uh, or polar tracking. It's actually a tracking uh, function. And I'll look at its setting, and I can see here that there are some default angles. Um, I'll try to change it to 30, but you can also see that you can add your own uh, increment angles by creating a new one. But drawing a line, for instance, I notice that I'm able to draw other angles, but when I get to something that's dividable by 30, meaning 30 and 60, it's so to say, um, gets a little bit stuck, and that can be helpful um, in various occasions. Here I see it as well, 30, and if I want to draw a 60 degree angle, it's also get a little bit stuck. So that's definitely also helpful in some occasions. I'll turn off my polar snap and um, look at the object snap, which can also be very helpful. Um, I'll start out looking at its setting, and I notice that all the object snap modes are on. Uh, that's how I normally work, but um, in some occasion it can be an idea to turn off and on some of them. Just to demonstrate, you notice that the endpoints are marked with a square, a midpoint is marked with a um, triangle, um, and we'll take a look at what that looks like when drawing. So in case I want to snap to the endpoint here, it should uh, come up with a square, and I'll try to uh, make a new line starting here and I notice that it's square. If I want to find the midpoint of this I can go along the line and when I come to the triangle that should be my midpoint. So that's how the object snap is working and I normally have it uh, turned on when drawing. The two last uh, function buttons um, one of them we looked at before, that's the dynamic input. If you have it turned off, you won't be able to uh, add in commands um, in um, directly in the model space, and you won't see the small dynamic inputs following the cursor as you normally do. So I'll also recommend having that turned on. Um, that's definitely helpful. The DU uh, CS is the um, dynamic um, user coordinate system and that's mainly useful if you're working um, not in 2D but maybe in a 3D environment where you would like um, the coordinate systems to be not as is right now but maybe attached to a tilted uh, surface of some kind. Okay, I think um, that'll be it for for now. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and I'm looking forward to see you in lesson four.